Because the Skydio 2 is not available in Europe, that doesn't mean that you should be cheated out on information about this amazing new product. This is why I reached out to a good friend of the channel, Ken, the original Dobo, and asked him to share his opinion about the Skydio 2. Before we get into that, Ken, can you tell my audience a little bit about you and what you do? Henrik, thank you so much for having me on today to talk about the Skydio 2. Guys, if this is your first time seeing me, my name is Original Dobo, and on my channel, I do drone and tech-related content. I try to put out new videos every single week from unique perspectives that maybe you won't find on anybody else's channel. I'm also a real estate videographer and photographer, so I try to incorporate some of those trials and tribulations into my channel as well. Ken does some really amazing stuff, and now especially around the, the Skydio 2, so I would highly encourage you to go and check out his channel through the link in the description below. I'm sorry about the clickbait, but I couldn't resist it, as I'm the first channel in Europe that posts a, a review around the, the Skydio 2, even though it's uh, provided by an American source. I'm very eager to hear, uh, I know that Skydio is uh, commenting below Ken, uh, the original Dobo's videos, so if they could comment here as well what their plans are about releasing the Skydio 2 for Europe, that would be really appreciated. But let's get into what you've been waiting for. So Ken, what do you actually like about the Skydio 2? So my top three things that I love about the Skydio 2 would have to be the build quality would be my number one thing. It's an odd thing to talk about on a drone, but the build quality of this drone is just incredible. It just feels very substantial in the hand and it doesn't feel like any other product. Now, a lot of people have talked about how this doesn't fold and that's a big downfall to them, but I really don't feel that that takes anything away from this drone. It is a very small drone and it's also very thin once you take that battery out, which makes this a pretty portable drone even though the legs don't fold. The second thing I have to like about this drone is the battery. The battery is magnetic, which is an absolute first on any drone and it just, snaps in there really easily. There's no moving components. You don't have to worry about this thing falling out because again, like I said, it's magnetic, which makes this very, very secure. And then the third thing I really love about this is the camera. The camera on this is beautiful. It puts out amazing quality. I'm one of those people that like to tweak footage in post and I'm finding that I don't have to do anything to this footage to make it look great. I can just upload it right off the SD card and it looks amazing. So that would definitely have to be the third thing. And if I if I could, I'm just gonna put a bonus in there. The fourth thing would be the autonomy in this drone because the obstacle avoidance is just bonkers and it's not like anything we've ever seen before. Good side can't normally stand alone. So of course we're eager to hear what are the three things that you don't like about the Skydio 2. Let's start off with the application. The application is very, very limited. I gave a lot of crap for the DJI Fly app for having a lot of things missing for a budget drone. This drone costs $1,000 and you don't, have, you don't even have any telemetry, which I think is a big oversight and I hope that Skydio ends up fixing that. But I think for me, that is the biggest letdown is not being able to see how far you're going or how much, you know, how far you can go on your battery charge. You know, any good useful diagnostic data is not available on this. The second thing that is sort of a downer on this is that you can't really place this where you want it. It does a really good job of avoiding obstacles, but if you're used to flying a DJI product, if you tell a product to fly through X gap, it's going to do that. And if you're not a good pilot, you're probably going to wreck it. With this, if you see that gap, it may decide that it's not safe to fly through it and it won't allow you to do it. So it's making decisions for you. And I said in the video that you're flying this maybe about 70% of the time and 30% of the time the drone's making the decisions for you. And then the last thing that I feel is somewhat of a, a bummer on this is the fact that you cannot keep this off while you charge it. The minute I plug the USB port with the cable, it's going to start charging. It powers on the drone, which I can't help but think that that may cause some stress to the gimbal motor over time. It's just one of those weird things. So if you plan on picking one of these up, definitely get yourself a charging hub because I think it's going to be essential for this drone. By the end of the day, all of this comes down to how good is actually the video quality that can be produced by the drone. So uh, what do you think about the video quality, especially HDR compared to normal video? How does the footage look like? I think the footage looks pretty solid. The I've shot basically everything in automatic. I have not once put it in manual controls. 
Um, and I really couldn't tell you what was HDR and what wasn't because I can't tell the difference within all these clips. They all look really great in all sorts of different lighting conditions. This thing just performed amazingly. Now I would say if you do plan to use the Skydio, film in 4K 60 because at least then you can slow down some of those action shots. And what's great about this drone is the minute you take off, you can have it to where it starts auto recording. So you're definitely never going to miss any of those moments. A question that I'm pretty sure that every one of you are thinking right now, how does the Skydio 2 stack up against the DJI Mavic 2? As far as the value proposition where this stands, you know, with DJI, it's really hard to say. I feel like this drone is sort of carving out its own niche in the space. It's not really a Mavic competitor and it's not really like an Altel Evo competitor. It's sort of like its own thing by itself. So you really have to evaluate what type of pilot you are. And if you have a Mavic 2 Pro or a Mavic 2 lineup, I don't know if I could necessarily recommend this for somebody who already has one of those higher end drones. But if this is going to be your first drone, it's definitely a really safe drone. You will definitely not crash it, that's for certain. And you will probably have a lot of fun with it. All right, so those are my thoughts initially on this. And again, my opinions may change as I start using it more and more. But I wanna thank you, Henrik, for allowing me to come on today and talk to your audience about the Skydio 2. Hopefully they ship over to the UK and overseas to Europe pretty soon because I feel like you guys are definitely missing out on a very well-built drone. Anyways, guys, that's it for me. Stay original. Again, big thank you, Ken, for joining me here on the channel, telling the audience about this new fantastic drone. And I really like that you have hands-on experience with the product, so I really value your opinion. Again, I can vouch for the videos uh, that Ken are producing on his channel. They are sometimes a little bit on the edge, but uh, you know I like to do something like that once in a while. So I would highly encourage you to go and check out uh, what he's doing, especially around the Skydio 2. I left a link for your convenience in the description below. I hope you like this form of collaboration videos. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be back on the next one.